Hola, hola. Hey, everyone. Al Duncan, Antonieta Collins with you on this fresh edition of SportsCenter. Talk about getting the last lap. Right? <laughs> He's kind of did. He sort of did. I'm all for it. Yep. He couldn't help himself with that little jab. We'll get to that in a little bit and get you caught up with everything you need to know that's going down in the Big Easy. Yes, but we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Who could forget that beauty of Iran 20 months ago? Our analyst, Taylor Twelman, basically channeling how all of us soccer fans felt after Trinidad and Tobago knocked the Americans out of qualifying for the 2018 World Cup in their first meeting since that awful defeat. The USA actually got some of us heartbroken doubters to believe again. 654 days between RBIs, that. right? That is a record according to Elias. So you just got to keep at it and you're going to end up coming up clutch. Never give up. There you go. There's Tessman right there. All right, that's going to do it for this here on SportsCenter. Up next is Formula One. Right. We're going to go over to mm -hmm. E2 and we're going to give you all the biggest half hour headlines like right off the top of the show. Everything. So come on over, hang out with us for a little bit more. Why not? Right? <laughs> you get racing, you can get more of this too. I'm just saying. I'm with you. We're going to get you right to everything that you need to know this morning here on SportsCenter with our half hour headline. Yes, I think, Tony, that writers in LA could honestly just can this generic headline Young Dodger saves the day, and they can just keep re racking it over MLB record. It's no surprise that the Yankees are on a tear, especially now that the team has brought back some stars from injury. But the Astros own baseball's longest active losing streak, and that is a surprise. Both teams remain division leaders, however. Something they are not used to, a defenseman who can actually put up points. They haven't had a 50-point defenseman in a single season since Brian Rafalski back in 2006-2007, the fourth longest active streak in the league. And those are your half-hour headlines as you get ready this Sunday morning. The whirlwind tour of New Orleans continued Saturday for Zion. Alongside his new head coach, Alvin Gentry, and team owner, Gail Benson, the 18-year-old spent time with the community at a local kid's playground for the dedication of a refurbished basketball court. Our NBA reporter, Malika Andrews, was also there and caught up with the city's newest Pelican. The field's getting to watch how the fans react to him, right? It's, <sighs> it's so crazy because... Like, we see that kind of reaction when, when someone is shipped out. He mm -hmm. chose to leave, and nevertheless, they still love him so much there in the loop. We've got more Sports Center right now on ESPN with Hannah and Jay. Check it out.